so today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get a very pretty natural look and a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do a look where you don't have to wear that much makeup or minimal makeup because you're not allowed to wear that much. So I'm going to be showing you guys a look inspired kind of by Anne Hathaway from Les Miserables and it's a movie that you guys have probably seen or have heard about. I'm going to show you guys a get started and I'm going to try to recreate this look that I saw a picture. It was a poster on Anne Hathaway and she had a very 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 natural look. She looked really beautiful and she had like no makeup on except for a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys kind of just the makeup that she used to get this beautiful natural look. So let's get into the video. So first you want to start off by moisturizing your face depending on how dry your skin is. Uh, my skin is pretty dry so I like to moisturize it just to make application easier and adding lotion just gives your skin a really nice glow to it. Now I'm going to be taking an eye cream for my under eye area. Um, uh, we're going to focus on that. If you have a little bit more drier skin underneath, I recommend you use the Radiance Eye Cream from Burt's Bees. So I just add this right underneath my eyes and it moisturizes it and makes them feel really nice underneath. I like to apply a BB cream and I recommend you do so too. Um, it's up to you though, but this step is optional. It's just so you can even out your skin tone and make sure that all parts of your skin kind of look the same color. It also kind of makes your skin a little bit brighter and illuminates it. It also um, covers up any um, imperfections and it's good at concealing too at the same time. So this is why I like to use this and I just add this all over my face. And it's, it's very, it has light coverage so it's not very intense and it just Again, makes your skin tone kind of match all over the place. The major thing about making your skin look flawless is adding concealer. And it has to be a concealer that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone because that's how it's going to hide. So I like to add that just on top whenever I have foundation or anything like that. Like right now, I'm going to add it probably underneath my under eye circles. I noticed that her look was very, very natural and that it showed she had like her skin was perfectly clear. This is kind of like the natural look, I guess, that people like to go for. This is what I recommend you do. If you can't wear that much makeup, for me, concealer is literally just the way to go. So I'm going to add this underneath my eyes. Now, everybody has different under eyes. I realize that not everybody's going to have um, dark circles like I do. Um, some of us have like those little puffy bags underneath their eyes, and everybody has different eyes. Conceal, if you have like little bags under eyes, there's different ways to conceal those. You pretty much just kind of put the concealer underneath that little baggy area. You um, kind of blend it in, and then it conceals it. For dark circles, I just like to apply concealer right underneath it, right into the area, and also that line where you can start, where you start seeing the dark circle, kind of where you, it, right around here where it connects. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Here where you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a darker spot as compared to like my cheek area. That's where I like to conceal. I like to just blend it out around there. And I like to do this very slightly and um, slowly. I just want to make sure that everything is concealed. And then other than that, just conceal any redness that you have. Usually people get that around their nose areas. Uh, maybe on your chin if you're like me. On your forehead a little. I have some just spots on my forehead that I cannot get rid of. Acne scarring right there, but... What I've been using recently is the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. And this also works really well, so I like to add this right underneath my under eye circles. And um, this is again lighter than my skin tone. And um, this also adds a lot of coverage, so you just roll it back and forth and then you blend it in lightly. Okay, so now for eyes. Um, her eye look is very simple and very natural. She actually does not curl her eyelashes or anything like that. And um, I'm probably adding a little bit more to it, I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off with the eyebrows. Her eyebrows are filled in and that's what makes her look very like dramatic and intense. So she has the eyebrows filled in. So I'm going to be filling them in with this um, eyebrow kit. And I'm going to take this darkest color right down here. And using an eyebrow pencil, I'm going to just lightly fill in my eyebrows. I don't want to make them too intense. Okay, so underneath my eyes, I'm going to make them brighter by adding a white eyeliner. So she had that, and that's what kind of makes this look kind of pop out. White eyeliner is actually the way to go if you don't really like to wear that much makeup. It does make your eyes look nicer and bigger, especially in the morning. Okay, so from the Naked palette, I'm going to be taking this very light uh, matte color, which is called Buck. And we're going to be adding this right underneath our lower lash line because this is just going to give our eyes some definition and shape. Okay, so like so. So now we're going to go on to the cheeks and we're going to be adding a very light pink blush onto the apples of our cheeks just to bring them out a little bit. And this is the e.l.f. blush in Candid Coral. This. Of 
course, a white highlight, which is a must because it just gives your face a very nice bright glow. I'm adding this right onto my cheeks. And now for the lips, she has a very natural lip. It's pretty much her natural lip color. So I'm just going to add a chapstick. And this is by Nivea. I really like it. I feel like it's very moisturizing. And then I'm also going to be adding a tinted chapstick on top. And this is just kind of giving me a little bit of some color into my lips. It's very nice and natural. Um, this is pretty much it for the natural look that you guys can wear every single day to school. It's so easy and it's so simple. And it's totally school appropriate. For and um, it's also a very pretty look. It's very refreshing. I love the natural look. I think it's great. I think girls should go for a more natural look. I'm going to have the picture in the down bar below. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. So this is again it for the very natural makeup. So this is it. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys.